it. Nobody. That's what I mean. I, I just want to do it. Easel really, said yes. No, Sorry, mate. No. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're at another Kraft Heinz building, the National Distribution Centre here in Wigan. We've locked the bike up <laughs> for those that keep telling me off for not locking it up. And the first gate we come to is this one, Wincanton Heinz. Looks like it goes around the corner there. We've got an Eddie Stobart vehicle coming out right now so we'll just see this go past and then we'll have a further look around Valerie Ann this one H2761 and he's got a 40 foot container no seals on it so it's probably empty And one in, sorry, one out and one in. <laughs> An LKW Walter trailer coming in there. So they've got a policy there, look, a site policy where you must wear high-vis jacket and safety shoes at all times when in the yard. So let's have a look for those. So they've got brake, apply the unit and trailer brake, legs, wind trailer legs fully to the ground, Airlines, remove airlines and stow away. Clip, undo safety clip. And kingpin, release kingpin. Final check on legs. If distracted, start again from the beginning. So, black. Ah. And they've even got some instructions down there for the tyre fitters. Never change the tyre whilst it is still on the vehicle. Well, that uh, goes without saying, surely. So inside the site, they've got another set of barriers there for all the internal vehicle movements. It goes all the way down the back. And they've got a massive section here for loads more container and trailer storage. The grounds are kept very nice though. Oh yeah, that's why, because the garden has just been. So this looks like the HGV entrance and it all interlinks internally behind all these other units. Looks like a massive site, definitely one for the drone. Seems to be a bit of a queue now. This is what happens when they're not very fast letting them in at the gatehouse. You get a bit of a backup on the public highway. And here we have an Eddie Stobart reversing a trailer now into the canopy. It's going to be too dark to see. Haven't you done an amazing job on that grass bank? It's, right, it? it's even got lines in it. I know. Yeah. yeah. That, that's your work, is it? It is, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Makes a big difference, especially how you've got a public footpath going over the top. Yeah. And they can see that, can't they? It just gives a really good impression of the company. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well it's done. It's kept under control and it's just neat and tidy, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. You just have to watch out for wasps' nest on there. Oh dear. <laughs> now and again, I've been driving along and now and you think, oh, what's that cloud following me, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wasp nest. So uh, they've got a good habitat on there, especially this summer because of it being so dry. Right. Um, you finding that generally there's more because it's been so dry, yeah? I think so this year, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a double-edged sword though because things like bees haven't been able to get out and find the same variety of plants, flowering plants probably. Right. It's a bit too dry for them, so their, their honey production right. will have suffered and probably their colonies as well. Yeah. So and some of the insects, although wasps will thrive if they can get out and get enough food, if they feed on aphids and they're relying on small bugs and insects, of course aphids, they really like sappy plants to feed on. And that sap's been dried right out by all of the hot intense yeah, sun. Yeah, true, yeah. So that food source will have disappeared from some of the uh, insects, you know, like predators, like wasps and that sort of thing. It has a right knock-on effect, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, then it has a knock-on effect to other species, like some of the birds. I mean, during that really hot spell we had, 
you won't see many birds out in that kind of heat because they're trying to conserve their own body energy. It's just too hot. You've yeah. got bird, you know, bird animals or animals, you know, with, with feathers like that. They're going to overheat the same way as we would. You know? Yeah, yeah. The fluctuations in temperatures, like the first heat wave we had a couple of weeks before that, it was quite cool temperatures really. And all of a sudden it builds up to what it was. It's like you can see all the animals struggle with it really. Yeah, it's an eye opener, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. We've got to get used to it now. It's on the increase. Isn't it? it is, yeah. It's getting more extreme every year. Yeah. Good talking to you. Thank you. What a lovely gardener. And he's right. This hot weather, you know, we all want it to, to be hot rather than cold, but yeah, it comes with its drawbacks. So here we are at a different Heinz entrance. This one is not for HGVs. And it's a quite uh, a way away from the other entrance, to be fair. So it just shows how vast the site is. There are some pedestrian access. We've got one on that side and one on this side here. So let's follow the flow of traffic. Go this way. And there is a sign for reception as well. So public are welcomed onto this place. But look at the view. Wow. That is very nice. Right on the top of a hill here. And look at that old sign. H.J. Hines Co. Limited. Welcome to Kit Green, Wigan, home of Britain's best love brand. So it says that as of 2019, the factory employs 850 people. It makes one and a half to three million cans of Heinz baked beans per day and more than 1.3 billion cans of food a year. Kit Green Team. Everyone's got the photo on display in the reception area. Oh wow, look at that. Kit green from above. I wonder if we can replicate that. That looks very high, just here. Have a minute. So that's the entrance that we went to before, down there. And that's that bridge that we stood on. And now we've come all the way down to here. And this will be a nice place to take the drone up from to get a replica of that. And that's where the staff go. Down in that direction. My friend, I've just come. I'm going to um, make an up-to-date version of that with my drone from outside. Um, I just wanted to let you know, really, in case someone, someone says, there's a drone flying around. Yeah, no worries, it's all right. All right. Um, the drone will come over the site a little bit. I'm just going to have a little look around from above. But, yeah. All right. No, I've not been asked. not been asked to do it. I've just come to do it. I'm just letting you know I'll be doing it today. Nobody. That's what I mean. I, I just want to do it. Ezel really. said yes. No, Sorry, mate. No, you can't. You can't just. It's just an updated version of that. That's all. Uh, yeah, but you, you're not really, like you can't do it. I mean, wherever you do on pavement over there, it's nothing I can do. About yeah, that's where I'll be. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just letting you know. Before. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm just letting you know, it will go over your site, the drone, yeah. just to get the footage, but you can have a free copy of, of my version of that. Sorry? Or is it Thor again? I'm just making a video for my YouTube channel, that's all. Right. No, but it's in north, yeah. Doing, yeah, so at least you know now. Yeah, yeah, I'll be off site. Alright, thank you. there we go we've let them know that we'll just be outside making our little video flying the drone and yeah let's get them a, an updated version that they've put up in reception every business that we visit should put a still of the drone footage in their reception I think because that looked amazing 
So from this point here, looking in this direction, loads of line of sight lock all over there. Let's get David out. Let's see what this place looks like from above. Taking it home? Yeah. Why? For garden? <laughs> oh, for like a little table? Uh, no, for something different. Oh, for the hose pipe? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I'd make, I'd put five. Save money. I'd put five of them high and make a little table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get this battery. Right, let's try again. We've got a fresh battery now, so we should have at least 25 minutes of flying time. So let's just crack on. So it's a massive site, so we won't be able to see the whole lot, but let's just see what's interesting to us. Now that's good. You can see straight in to the factory through the glass windows. We don't often get that. And we can see some people there on some sort of production line working. But it's not too clear what they're doing in there. What about down here? Looks a bit newer. Some more works going on down in this direction, protecting steel bars is it some work going on some sort of boiler there big chimney going up I let the waste out in them. No, they're not open topped. But the grounds look very well kept, very neat and tidy. Much better than the other Heinz factory that we went to. What have we got down here? sort of hopper going into a skip but once again it's not clear what exactly is happening there anything interesting in this little corner no Loads of temporary storage down in this little corner here. Must have been there for a long time for them to get that rust there. But not much movement at all, really. So let's head over in this direction have a bit uh, of a further look down the site. And this is that link down to the HGV entrance that we went to earlier with the public footpath running over the top. All that. So this is what it looks like from a decent height. It extends all the way down there in the far distance. Staff car park to the right. Main staff and visitors entrance in the middle there. We've seen plenty of people get dropped off. So a massive employer in this local area. 
and we've not found anything majorly wrong ourselves. So a pleasure to visit this place. Let's get the drone back and wrap this one up. So that was Heinz Kitzgreen here in Wigan. No problems at all. We even went up to reception just to let them know because it was such a relaxed atmosphere here. Everybody's just going about their business, respecting the photographer and the drone flyer outside, just as it should be. Beautiful area, beautiful countryside. And yeah, nice company, yeah. Nice little business here in Wigan, so no problems at all. If you have enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.